Hey, it's Realtor Melinda here. I'm here with Caleb Thomas of Ithaca Murals. Glad to meet you. She's running up and down the stairs. She feels the spring time in the air and she loves it. So just tell me how this happened. How did this come about and how did you, how did you get it started? Like, are, were you the initiator of all this? Um, I had a big hand in it and there was a whole group of people. Okay. Um, the electrical boxes in Ithaca, for the most part, were organized by the Public Art Commission. Okay. Over the last um, six years, okay. seven years or so. In 2012, we launched our first, we announced that there were 21 electrical boxes available, owned by the city, looking for artists. Right. And um, our, different artists submitted their applications. We right. picked 21 of those, and they all painted within a period of like a couple months, all of them. I remember that and year and seeing yes. them doing it. So we did it in 2012, then again in 2014, okay. and then 2016, a few more. Okay. Um, this year, there's a couple more going up. Yeah. So there's about 50 total. And how um, This one was done by um, the youth hero group, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, uh. um, and with a couple adults, um, Anna Adler and Marcia, Sarah, um, helped them out. An amazing collaboration of yeah, youth and their adult big brother, big sister buddies, and um, and then passers-by, too, that would just add in different things, you know, like, oh, I live over here, or this is my favorite part of Ithaca. I so love they, that. gone from about 15 mural locations to 153, 153. and it's snowballing. It's yeah. just taken off um, where you know, the more murals there are in Ithaca, the easier it is. Yes, absolutely. Um, more. I love the little neighborhood ones. I just, they captured it so perfectly with the little Conway Park and everything. Yeah. It really is wonderful. Where do you live? I live on First Street. So I'm, right, so I'm over. On um, this third street. Yeah, so exactly. So I'm exactly. Yeah. 